Here are a few shapes we will be using to construct the outline of a figure. I always start off my figure first by outlining a head. To outline the body, you must outline the direction your figure is bending in by using lines to indicate the curve of the spine. To draw the torso, start by drawing out where you would like to place the shoulders and work your way down towards the hips. To make it easier, you can also outline the torso and hips by using triangles and upside down triangles. Moving on to arms and legs, the first step is to outline the placement and direction by using lines and circles to indicate the bend of the arms and legs. To finish the head, I always start off by outlining the side of the head where the ear is with a circle or an oval. Then I draw out a cross to indicate the center of the face and the direction it faces in. It also helps with drawing in the features. I first outline the shoulders with darker strokes. Then I lightly outline the upper and forearms with two long ovals on either side. Lastly, for the upper body, I fully outline the rest using darker strokes and keeping in mind the shape I want the body to be in. The process for the legs is similar to the one for the arms. You start by outlining the thighs and calves with two large ovals and then two small ovals. I then work my way down from the hips to the ankles, outlining around the ovals I created. For the knee, I hook down from the line I used to draw the thigh to create a U. And for the calves, I extend out and back in towards the ankle. For the forearm, I start by drawing the tip of a triangle where the arm bends at the inner elbow. Then I outline around the oval down towards the wrist. Hands may be the most difficult part of the whole process. One way to draw hands is by outlining many coffins. Another way is to start off with a semicircle, joining the ends with two lines that form an angle. From there, you can loosely outline a thumb and four fingers. For me, drawing feet is the easiest part. It all depends on the placement and angle you want the foot to be in. For a side angle, you can start by drawing the top of the foot and angling it down in a slope. For the heel, make sure you aren't going straight down from the ankle. Create a curve. For a front view, I draw two semicircles, one that is small and one that is big. I connect the two ends of the semicircle with two lines. example of an outline drawing of a figure that is jumping. The steps are exactly the same just with a different body shape and angle. Here's another example of a figure that has a bent torso with one leg up and one leg down as well as one arm to the side and one arm up.
last example I have is of a figure in a sitting position from the side view with her hand under her chin. Here the process is exactly the same, only you have to look at the figure from a different angle. You can draw a figure in any position using these techniques as long as you know the direction and angle the limbs go in. The outline is basically a base of the person. It makes it easier for you to add on and draw on top of the figure.